So I hope you had a good time with your ponies and galloping around and then going into the stable with your ponies and finding a pose. All right, so now your next activity is the balance beam. Now, we don't have a balance beam in our home. I don't think you have one either. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to use some tape. So I have put a green strip of tape all the way down my floor. If you don't have tape, that's okay. You can use a skipping rope or another type of rope. It doesn't matter. Or if you can go outside and use some chalk, you can do that too. All right, and the other thing that you will need is a little stuffed animal. So I have something like this, but it needs to be small and it needs to be something that you can toss and that you can put on your head or any other parts of your body. All right, so the first thing that you're going to do, I want to see, can you walk across your balance beam without coming off of the balance beam? So putting your arms out and what you want to do is look ahead like this and try to walk across without coming off of your balance beam. When you come to the end, you can go up on your tippy toes, turn around, and then walk back. Try that a couple of times. Then after that, I want you to see if you can move across your balance beam in another way. So perhaps you can try galloping, staying on your balance beam. Is there another way that you can go across your balance beam? Perhaps you can try hopping. Oh no, I think I came off of my balance beam. You can try skipping. You can try crawling. Try different ways. I want you to have fun with it. And in total, I would like you to find four to five different ways that you're going to move across your balance beam. After that, I want you to explore how you can balance on your balance beam. So you can, of course, try with one foot. Perhaps put your leg up like this. Keep your muscles nice and strong not floppy. Maybe you can try it with the other leg as well. Going right like this. Can you balance using other body parts? How about just your bum? Or perhaps you can balance on one foot and on one hand on your balance beam like this. I want you to try different ones, perhaps four or five different poses. And then you can actually put it together and make it into a really cool routine. The other thing that you can have fun doing is taking your little animal, you can actually balance it on your head and you're going to go across your balance beam without your little animal falling off. Can you put it somewhere else? What about on your shoulder? Ooh, no! <laughs> I'm gonna try it like this. I've got a lumpy shirt, that's probably why. There we go. No, it's not working on my shoulder. That's okay, I can try it on my hand, like this. You can try balancing it on your foot. You can tell me after, perhaps you were able to balance yours on your shoulder. And then the other thing that you can do is walk across your balance beam, tossing your animal, like this. Can you gallop while tossing your animal? Can you skip? while tossing your animal, all while staying on your balance beam. That's kind of tricky. All right, girls, I want you to have lots of fun with that. And if you can, if you can, send me some uh, photos of you on your balance beam doing your neat tricks. Have a great day, girls, and I'll see you soon. Bye.